As a piano teacher, wouldn't it be great if piano students just came to you and you didn't have to do any marketing at all? Well, that might not be a reality. If you optimize your website as a piano teacher, you can have students finding you in Google search near or at the top. Hey, if we haven't met yet, I'm Phoenix and I'm the Tattooed Piano Teacher. In a previous video, I did a complete walkthrough building a website for a piano teaching business using Wix. If you do not have a website at all quite yet, then check out that video first and then come back here to optimize it for Google search. If you have your website all built and ready to go and you use Wix, I'm gonna do a little walkthrough. It's very easy to do. We're gonna go into the back end. We're gonna make some tweaks, add some words, and magically your website is gonna start appearing on Google search by your ideal customers. These same principles can apply to any sort of local business, but I'm gonna specifically be showing you how to do this in Wix for a Piano Studio website. SEO stands for search engine optimization, and that's exactly what we're going to be doing in the Wix dashboard, go to marketing and SEO, and then SEO, we're gonna be doing the setup checklist and get started. Put in the official business name for your studio, and then it's up to you if you wanna use a physical address and have that associated with your business or not. Now here's the important part. We're gonna put in keywords for our website. So for me, that is piano lessons or piano teacher and the name of my city and variations of that. If you offer more than piano lessons, you might need more keywords. The first thing it's gonna ask us to do is to pick a title, pick the one that looks the best to you. And then we are going to be putting in the meta description for our homepage. This is what people will see underneath the title of your website homepage. So you want to put keywords in here to help Google out. So we're gonna put in piano lessons for kids. We're gonna put in city or neighborhood name. I am gonna put in the name of the business because Wix is telling me I should, and that looks good. These tasks we've already completed in the setup of our website, and you should already have a custom domain linked. Connect your site to Google Search Console, and this will give you a lot of analytic tools that you can use. We're gonna add an alternate description for the one image that is on the homepage of our website, and that is the logo image. This is intended for people who cannot see the image as a description, but you can also throw in a keyword here as well. If you have learned something new or are finding value in this video, would you mind hitting that like button? That helps out my channel so much and it tells me to make more helpful content like this for piano teachers that are starting or growing their business. So that's it for the home page. Let's go on to the lessons page. We've already done the page title. Let's add in a meta description for this page as well. We're gonna throw in some keywords here. I'm gonna use private lessons, partner lessons, kids, adults, anything you think people would be searching for. Onto our about page, once again, putting in our meta description. I'm going to use the name of our studio. I'm gonna say piano lessons and mention the name of the city again. Piano instruction is a variation of piano lessons and I'm gonna mention kids and adults. I'm gonna mention private piano lessons because that's another thing that people might search for. And I'm also gonna mention piano teacher, which might be another thing people are searching for. Onto the book online page. Here's a description for our book online page. Now this one, I'm going to say sign up for piano lessons because that's another phrase that people might be searching for. I'm gonna mention the name of the business again and the city name. I'm gonna mention professional piano teacher and I'm also gonna mention like an area of my city or a neighborhood that might be relevant as well, just to hit some other keywords. Now it's asking us to link something from the book online page to another page. You can certainly add a button, like maybe a button back home or a button to uh, the about page, like learn more or something like that. And that will um, appease the SEO gods, but I'm gonna skip over that for now. Onto the contact page. Now this can be kind of similar to the book online page, but I'll just vary it a little bit, but throw some keywords in there. Now, if you signed up for one of the Wix premium plans and you also have access to even more tools and even more education on SEO, click on the tasks that Wix tells you to fix or do or remove, and you will have your website completely optimized in the easiest way possible. 
Now you wanna give Google some time to find your website and index it along with all the other websites, but in no time at all, you should be finding that your studio website is showing up on local searches for piano teachers. If you found this video and you are not a subscriber, you haven't signed up for my free 30 day challenge, I invite you to do that with the link in the description because I walk through 12 actionable steps, one of them being setting up your website and optimizing it for Google search, but there are other things that you need to do to make sure you're business is all set, ready to go for that first lesson that you're going to teach. Now, if you want some more tips on free marketing strategies to find new piano students, then check out this video here and I look forward to seeing you there.